Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace your left hand IK weapon. It's actually very simple. I've seen quite a few people struggle on this. I thought it was gonna be way more complex, but let's go ahead and just show it off. So on my character, you can see that when I have my gun out, for example, this pistol, and I aim it down and hit F8, you can see my left hand, it looks a little odd just because this pistol is a bit small, but it still looks totally fine for me. And if you wanted to adjust this, you would just open up that pistol BP like so. And all you have to do in order to adjust the left hand IK, and you can also do this on your swords and you should, especially if you're using like great swords uh, from those two hand animation assets and stuff, is you just click on left hand IK, and then you can literally just move this scene component from here and it'll tell your character where the left hand IK. So for example, he'll just hold his hand up, he'll go outwards and so on. And you can, yeah, you can really just adjust where this left hand goes. So for example, if you just want him to have it by his side, I'm sure you can just, uh, well, okay, well, that looks, that looks wrong. Hold on, let me put, okay, go back, go back. And yeah, and you can adjust this per gun. So it's not always gonna be this way for every single gun you create, unless of course you're duplicating this I mean, my transformation went off the charts and you can kind of play it in while it's running live until you see fit. And yeah, so I'll just position my hand forward a little bit down. And for now, this looks good to me. Character kind of looks like he's holding it. Maybe his hands out a little too out and like so hands are kind of overlapping and that's totally fine with me. And now you can see when I retargeted this Cinti character to the ACF template using the Cinti sci-fi pack, um, his hand is kind of clipping through that barrel. I'm just gonna move this up a little bit so it looks like it's grabbing under the gun and move it forward just so it's not right up against, just so it looks totally fine. I don't want him to be his hand to go over the barrel because this looks a little more realistic. And yeah, this looks good to me. And that's pretty much just how you handle your left handle IK position. If you want to turn this off, you can simply just go over to your BP again. And before you do this, I do recommend you adding ACF to your plugins folder and not editing in the engine, because if you edit in the engine, it will affect all your projects. So what you want to do is just go over to your character like so go to your ACF humanoid AVP, double click on it. And now we're going to look for the parent of this template and over here, it'll look kind of confusing, but when you're in the anim graph of the ACF template AVP, near the end, right before the output pose, you'll see this ACF humanoid AVP hands IK. And if you wanted to ignore that, you can just uncheck or unpin these, these two sides and just have go from the, and just have this execution pin go from the feet IK to the false pose of this blend poses by bull, just so this is untouched. But for my case, I do want the left hand IK. I personally think it looks amazing no matter what. Um, but if you're using a low poly model or something, but if you're using something that doesn't really need left hand IK, um, or has like multiple, like eight hands, you don't want all your left hands to be linked on one spot and so on. But yeah, thanks for watching Code of Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.